We thank you and thanks for your cooperation. Tonight's officials will be Daniel Arco, Jawan Williams, and John Miller. And now for the East Capitol East Capitol Online. Junior Carl, number 13, Matt Hood. Matt Hood, number 13, a guard. Junior Center, number 44, Brady Limlick. Brody Limlick. Number 44, center. Luke Stroll, number 11. Senior guard number three, Chris Jones. Chris Jones. And senior guard number 10, Matt Nowling. Matt Nowling, number 10. And now for the Hornets. And now for the East Coast Hornets starting line. Junior guard number zero, Ezekiel Cruz. Ezekiel Cruz, number zero. Junior guard number three, Kevin Jefferson. Kevin Jefferson, number three. Junior guard number 11, Jamie Gilzee. Jaden Gelzee, number 11. Junior four, number five, Jaden Jackson. Jaden Jackson, number five. And senior guard, number two, A.J. Douglas. Number two, A.J. Douglas. At this time, we ask that you please join us as we honor America with the plane of the National Anthem. So as you can see, East Catholic came with a very good turnout tonight. They always have. They are loud. East Hartford, there was, oh, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago that we had a, um, we had a, uh, what do we call the nest, which was uh, a, an organized group of supporters. And they were very, very loud, but that was back then. We haven't had anybody like that since. But as uh, play goes on, you'll hear these Starford fans too. Perhaps not as organized, but they'll be heard. So we have Jaden Jackson and um, Brody Limlick jumping for the ball. This should be a good one. Brody Limlick wins the tap. East Catholic controls. They go inside. And 
and it's knocked out by East Hartford, so it'll be East Catholic ball. They almost got on the board very, very quickly. Number 11, Luke Stroll inbounds. From outside, and East Hartford controls the rebound. Brings it up quickly. AJ Douglas with the ball. He goes to Kevin Jefferson shoots for three, no good. East Catholic comes back quickly. And they go to the open man, and he shoots for three. That was number 13, Matt Hood. A.J. Douglas with the ball again. Nope. That's Kevin Jefferson with the ball. To A.J. Douglas. It is loud here. Ezekiel Cruz with the ball. Trying to go in. No luck. Almost. And East Hartford calls a timeout. So East Catholic did not let him in there. Very organized cheering squad here for uh, East Catholic. But then again, we have the cheerleaders and they don't. I'm looking at the cheerleaders. There's some of them are the same, but some of them are not the same ones who were at the girls game, which I also recorded on Friday, I'm pretty sure it was. No, Thursday. I know it was Thursday because I was able to, so people were still able to see it in school the next day, if they wanted to. Maybe it was even on Wednesday. Who knows, it was last week. And that was A.J. Douglas faked a little bit too much, and he was traveled. You can see that the cheering squad for East Catholic is like a six-man here. Number 13 from way outside, no good. And rebound belongs to East Hartford. Jaden Gilzine, back in the hands of Ezekiel Cruz. Goes inside, and ho! Oh, the ball swirls around the hoop a little bit before going in. The score is three East Catholic and two East Hartford. Five minutes, 38 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Jaden Gilzine, jumper, no good. Rebound goes off by East Catholic, so it'll be East Hartford ball. Looks like Kevin Jefferson will inbound the ball. East Hartford going around the perimeter. Tries to force that one over Limlick, who's rather tall. Doesn't work. And that was Le Brody Limlick going up to make that one. And an East Harper player tried a block from behind. It didn't work, and he was called for the foul. 5-2, East Catholic leads here early, early, early in the game. And Gilzine. Oh, another floater. 5-4, so Gilzine is on the board twice for the Hornets. And that was Chris.
Chris Jones going inside quickly on that one. I don't think anybody expected him to try that. He had the space, missed the shot, and that's a three-pointer for Ezekiel Cruz. Scores tied at seven. Matt Houle with the ball, goes inside, Limlick is there, and he dunks. They timed that nicely. A.J. Douglas with the ball. To Gilzine, to Cruz. Cruz tries to make it through two. Limlick gets the pass off. And there's a foul before the shot. The foul is on. Hmm, I'm not sure. And there's a substitution for East Hartford as number 22. Oh, God, I don't have his name here. As number 22 comes in. Whoever it is, number 22, just made a nice play. As soon as I find out his name, I'll let you know. Pass long to Limlick. Goes back inside, and it rolls in. 11-7, East Catholic leads. Three minutes to play here in the first quarter. And it is stolen by Jones, 13 to seven, East Catholic leads. That was a careless there. Oh, it is amazing they still had the ball. And East Hartford scores. 13-9, East Catholic leads. Two fouls so far, both on East Hartford. Limlick gets the offensive board. And he's fouled in the act of shooting. The foul is on Jaden Gilzine. Ezekiel Cruz, East Catholic ball. ball. Outside shot. It is deflected. And then East Hartford is charged for the foul there, but that was a necessary foul. They had to slow the play down somehow. No. Yes, this East Catholic ball. 144 left to play in this quarter. Poole with the ball. Sends it off wide. Deflected out of bounds. He starts with the ball. Kevin Jefferson will inbound. Anthony Barber has come into the game.
outside shot is good. A.J. Douglas got the three. The lead is down to one. Just a little bit more than a minute left. And here's Starford is causing them trouble right now. And he was fouled as he was going in on that one. Ball did not go in. East Hartford has five fouls right now. East Catholic has none. That may come back to haunt them at the end of the first half here. Hopefully not too much sooner than that. First one is good. The lead is back up to two. Goes all the way. That was pretty. That was AJ Douglas for that one. Scores tied at 14. Less than a minute left to play. East Hartford steals. East Catholic is able to recover. And they rule that it's East Catholic ball with 36 seconds left to play. Lick with the ball to Jones to Hool to Knowles. 22 seconds left on the clock. Looks like they're playing for the last shot of the half of the quarter. Excuse me. Game tied at 14. Less than 10 seconds left to play. And there's a violation. East Hartford will have the ball with eight seconds left. Chance to take, the, that's their chance to take the lead here. They haven't done that since the very beginning of the game. And three pointer, no good. And at the end of one, 14-14. One problem for the Hornets, though, is the fouls. They have six. East Catholic only has one. Startford. We have number 10, Cameron Howard. Number 33, Anthony Barber. Number 23 just came to the game, Adrian Gorham. Number 2, AJ Douglas. And there's one that I didn't call here. And I'll make that up a little bit later on. Adrian Gorham with the ball. Oh, number 32. Yes, A.J. Douglas again. Number 32 is Malik Bennett. Adrian Gorham and Malik Bennett are both students of mine right now. Oh, nice block by Malik Bennett. East Catholic trying desperately to get inside. Adrian Gorham keeps him from going in. And he's able to get his offensive rebound, but he misses. East Hartford is really, really playing tough defense there. So this will be number three. 
Chris Jones going to the line. The Hornets lead by two, 16-14, beginning of the second quarter. As you can see from the scoreboard, East Hartford has seven fouls. East Catholic only one. It finally goes off of East Catholic, so East Hartford recovers that. Limlick is causing them a lot of trouble. He's very aggressive on the boards, and he's got a lot of height. Ezekiel Cruz with the ball. He's double teamed. Inside to Malik Bennett. Does everything right except the execution at the very end. Limlick, Limlick goes in, he's blocked on that one, but a foul is called. And it wasn't the act of shooting, so he will go to the line. Uh, the crowd was loud there because they thought it was the, they blocked him clean. 16-15, the Hornets lead. Limlick makes the first one. Scores tied at 16. Wholesale ch changes for the Hornets. Jaden Jackson comes back in. And Nathan Mikulski comes back in. Actually, he's coming in for the first time here. Ezekiel Cruz with the ball. Sends it cross court. Mikulski to number one. I'll get that name in a moment. And Ryan Vaughn is the name. And number 33 is Anthony Barber. I'm not sure what the nature of that violation was. East Hartford trails by one, 17-16. East Catholic has scored three since the beginning of this quarter. East Hartford none. And Limlick is blocked on that one. But then he gets the offensive rebound and he gets fouled. They did everything right except he still somehow gets to the ball. And let's see. Eighteen sixteen. Jaden Jackson comes out. Again, Lindley scores, so the lead is three now for East Catholic. Mikulski. Cruz from way outside, no good. East Hartford almost gets the offensive rebound. East Catholic is able to control, and they come back quickly to score. And East Hartford will call a timeout. So the score was tied at 16 just a few minutes ago. And East Catholic jumps out to a five-point lead. Look at the fouls, 10 to one. So at, it's been a while now that East Hartford, for every foul, East Catholic will go to the line, and you have seen how well they're shooting those uh, free throws. Now, if you look at the bleachers here, this over here is all East Hartford. That over there is all East Hartford. That over there is all East Catholic. And this one here is mixed. I think I find myself in a mostly East Catholic bleacher. But then on the other hand, this is the best angle. So here I am. Ezekiel Cruz to A.J. Douglas. 
He slowed down, back to Cruz, across. Nice gymnastics move, and I am so sorry that I wasn't on that there. Okay, so Cruz with the ball to Mikalik. Back to Douglas, who goes inside here. Back out to Cruz. Three point attempt. Nobody there for the offensive board. Now, as long as. Wow. 23-16. These Carpet is struggling and they're working really, really hard to get in there. And if East Catholic can come back quickly like that each time and score. Yeah. And the man troubled. 23-16. So, so Gilzine is back in the game. Common Howard. And you can hear the the two cheering crowds uh, going at each other. And number two, AJ Douglas from outside. Three-point attempt, no good. And it's a jump ball. Limitup just reached in there and took it out of his hands. The possession arrow favors East Catholic. So it'll be their ball. Four minutes, 28 seconds left to play here in second half. The lead is seven. Gilzine to Cruz to Douglas back to Gilzine and that is Jefferson no good rebound belongs to East Catholic East Harper steals that's Douglas he sends it to and he's blocked. He sent it to Jefferson, who's blocked. And I think, did someone call a timeout right there? East Catholic has a lot of height. And back with the East Harford High School cheerleaders. Catholic. Three point attempt is no good. East Carpenter coming back fast. And another block for East Catholic. And Limlick, he fakes and then he takes. Jumps up and he. East Catholic is making some nice plays right now. Their crowd is into it. Yes. Douglas sends it up there. And Gilzine taps it in. The score, the lead is seven. Tries to tap it in, it's no good. Another block for East Catholic. 
This one was way out there. He tries to pass it through the legs, did not work. Seven point lead, two minutes and a half left in this quarter. Inside. And a foul is called. And you gotta remember, at this point, no matter what happens, they don't have to be in the act of shooting. They're gonna go to the line. So, 11 fouls for East Hartford, one foul for uh, East Catholic. I haven't even seen a change on the scoreboard. I wonder if it can't go any higher than uh, 10 fouls. East Hartford making some wholesale changes here as Malik Bennett and Adrian Gorham come back in. Cruz with the ball. To Jackson. Knocked out by East Catholic player. Cross court to Adrian Gorham, who, who gets two. 27 20, the lead is seven. Two minutes left to play. Off the glass. Gilzine has it to Cruz. Back to Gorham. He made his first. This time he doesn't. Gilzine is back, and a foul is called. He hit the deck hard. Twenty-nine, twenty. East Catholic leads. This is the largest lead of the game so far, 11 points. A minute and a half left to play here in this half. He's fouled on the way in. East Sharper will put it in play under the basket. Malik Bennett fakes, goes closer, another. And Limlick misses. He was going at that really fast. Three point attempt is no good. Malik Bennett sends it out. A minute left to play here. Well, it's not Limlick, excuse me, it's another player. It's number 14, uh, Lucas Macaluso. Oh, that was just, that was just too easy. And three Starford players got a hand on it, but it ended up going out of bounds. East Catholic ball.
misses, and that is Macaluso who comes in and taps it in from behind. 20-35, 15-point lead at the end of the first half. And now see start for cheerleaders. 